arise to support the motion. I'm smart at the end. And I represent the good people of Kogu West. And like Mr. President, we are attached to it. I personify the masses of this country. And each time I speak, I speak from the language of the man on the streets. Mr. President, insecurity is a serious problem today in Nigeria. And there comes a time when you cannot but speak the truth, irrespective of the sentiments you may share. Today, Mr. President, all of us have been threatened. Our families, our nation, our state. Order, order. A lot has been said this morning, Mr. President, and I want to thank you for giving us time to speak expressly on this issue. Like my sister was saying, there comes a time when talk will talk itself. There comes a time when truth will become like a touch light in the midst of silence. So you are forced to talk. Mr. President, we need not run away from the fact that more than ever before in the history of our nation, this is the worst instability we are facing. In fact, this is worse than the civil war. Are you Mr. President, huh? the solution is very simple. Today there are a lot of misgiving, a lot of misinterpretations of what is happening. Some people believe, some people in government are supporting this move. Some people believe some people sponsor those who are destabilizing our nation within the country. The answer is very simple. We cannot pretend that we are capable of, of confronting the situation in our hands. America, as powerful as they are, when the pandemic came, got to a point that China had to claim, they came to their rescue. We shouldn't pretend that we needed foreign support now. Let nobody deceive us, Mr. President. A lot of billions of Naira have been voted for, for security uh, 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 services. Nothing is coming out of it. We wouldn't wait until our nation gets bombed. Let us shout and call for foreign, uh, foreign support. I am a PC man and I've been supporting my party. But the president should get to know that it has gotten to a point that we who are supporters, who are members of the APC, we can no longer keep quiet. The president was raised to the occasion. You know why I say we are in You will not see the truth and you are afraid to say it because you will die. We must open, Mr. President, the nation is on fire. The president was raised to the occasion. It costs us nothing to get foreign, foreign support. We must rise to the occasion. We must bring in people to save this country. Or else we will be consumed. Every one of us will have a chapter for history. Whenever the history of this period will be, will be written, whatever is our position, we have a chapter. We cannot keep quiet any longer. It has gotten to a point that we cannot sleep with our two eyes closed. We are not free. Our children are not free. The president must rise to the occasion. There is no nation that is so powerful that doesn't need support of other nations. Individual could not, cannot say you will leave the war without any other person with you. So we must rise. The situation is, we have, our security system has collapsed. It has failed. And because it has failed, we need to look for foreign support. It costs Nigeria nothing. Forget the ego, ego. forget the superiority of Nigeria in African nations. Today, we are facing serious problems. If our nation is to survive this period, I'm, I'm not in doubt that the security architecture we have today cannot cope with what we are facing. Every part of this country is threatened. From the north to the south, nobody is safe. Nobody can travel 50 kilometers in our nation. I feel like shedding tears for a country that we grew up. Where nobody has asked you when you travel from Lagos to Maduguri. I don't need in time pass. Today I cannot travel from here to Kaduna to Niger State where I was born. The president must know that this is a bad time for our nation. We must look for foreign support to save this nation. This is my position, Mr. President. We must rise to it. They are killing people in the east, in the west, in the south, in the north. We should shut down the National Assembly. Let's shut down if we cannot save this country. We stay in our homes. Our country is bleeding. People are in poverty. There's no food. People are hungry. Insecurity is threatening us. We cannot pretend. It's better we are not here. That's what I'm saying.
Every day, 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 every